The best known genes that we know to increase the risk of breast and ovarian cancer are the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes. BRCA stands for breast cancer gene. If you inherit a mutation within these genes, whether you inherit it from your mother or your father, and yes, you can inherit it from your father, you are at a greater risk of developing breast and ovarian cancer in your lifetime. Statistics show that if you have a mutation in the BRCA1 gene, the risk of developing breast cancer is increased to between 60 to 80%, and for a BRCA2 gene, the risk is about 45 to 60%. Compare that to the 12% of developing breast cancer risk in the general population. Men who carry the BRCA gene mutations are also considered high risk of developing breast cancer, especially if it's the BRCA2 gene that is affected. The lifetime risk is increased to about 7%. So if you're a BRCA gene mutation carrier, what can you do to minimize the risk of developing cancer in your lifetime? Hi, my name is Dr. Tasha and I'm a breast surgeon. One of the ways you can reduce breast cancer risk is by having what we call risk-reducing surgery. This is usually done with a bilateral mastectomy or removal of the entire breast. This type of surgery has been found to reduce the risk of developing breast cancer by 90 to 95%. The reason it's not 100% is that surgery can't remove all of the breast tissue and about 5 to 10% of breast tissue is left behind. So surgery can't prevent cancer from happening, it can only reduce the risk. Now you can either go flat or have a reconstruction. If you wish, there are options where we can build you a new breast. And I will leave a link to a video I have made all about breast reconstruction in the description below. As the risk of developing ovarian cancer is also increased, some doctors may also advise for removal of the ovaries and fallopian tubes, also known as salpingo oophorectomy. Some studies have also shown that this can reduce the risk of developing breast cancer too. If you don't want surgery, what are your other options? Well, you can have a discussion with your doctor about taking either tamoxifen or letrozole, which are anti-hormone tablets. This can reduce the risk of developing a hormonally driven cancer. You can also undertake intensive screening, such as an MRI or mammogram, or both, depending on your age. Whilst this does not reduce your risk of developing cancer, it will allow any cancers that develop to be picked up early so they can be treated. Five to 10% of breast cancers are hereditary, which means that it is linked to mutations in these genes that are passed from parent to child. The majority of breast cancers develop sporadically. In other words, they just happen. Being breast aware remains very important. Take care and I will see you in the next video.